Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Drug Dealer Simulator. Now this episode is going to be a little bit shorter and uh, just going to be a little bit different than the episodes I do. Now, back along, I can't remember your name, I do apologise, I'm not very good with names, I've said this many times. Um, but uh, I will put your name in the description and you know, um, sort of shout out to you for this. So, someone asked in the comments about doing a lock picking sort of guide you know just some help on lock picking now i cannot stand the lock picking in this game i think it is a hassle and just a way of slowing you down from basically progressing and doing what you need to do but i uh you know it's there so there's nothing we could do about it it's not going to change it is something you will obviously get used to the same as me i will get used to it um but uh yeah so i thought okay why not so what I'm going to do with this video, like I said, it's going to be a little bit shorter and etc, etc. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my techniques of working out the lockpicks and unlocking those lockpicks and making it a little bit easier for you guys to do. Now some of you already know about this and, well, not about my technique, but you know, you know how your techniques about unlocking them and the easiest way to lock them, un unlocking them, I do apologise. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to give you my hints, tips and techniques and my theories on the lockpicks in the system and how I work it and hopefully you can learn something from that and work off of that. So without further ado, before we get into it, if you haven't checked out my Drug Dealer Simulator playlist, there is a link at the top there. Uh, go and click that, go watch and you know watch me episodes, catch up, there's some guides, recipe guides, hints, tips, tricks, playthroughs, everything there. Go and check it out. And uh, yeah, with that said and done, let's get to it. Okay, so we are here, have I got my bobby pins? I do. <clears throat> so I'll try and, I will try to explain this as best as I possibly can. Okay, so we're gonna go over there. I'm going to do a bit of explaining, a bit of talk about it and you know, show you a few things. But then I'm going to put some screenshots of this lock and um, show you what I mean exactly. Okay. So obviously with the lockpick system mm, I can't use that gate, that gate is uh, open. So, yeah, all right, that's that one out the window. As I, uh, I kind of semi-explained this on the last episode, so the last episode of Amphetamine Guides, at the end I explained what I was going to do this episode and explained a little bit about it. So, with the lockpicks, there is obviously a uh, 180 degree turn for the lockpick, okay? And obviously any part of that 180 degree can unlock. Um, so, what I do, personally, is I kind of visualize uh, sections, all right? So segments, yeah? So you'll have... Okay, so I will show you um, a couple of images to help me explain this and show you what I mean. But what I try and do is I visualize sections within this lock, okay? So obviously you've got... You you only pick the top part, so the, the 180, all right? So it's a 360 degree, yeah? So you half that with a 180, all right? Which is your top half, which is the part you pick with, okay? Then what I do is I split that into quarters. So you got... One section, as you can see, you've got one section, two section, three section, and four section. Yeah? So with those sections, when you're looking at the lock itself, yeah, you want to try and get the bobby pin like as center as that section as possible. So I can visualize this because obviously this is, I use it in my head. I'm trying to explain something from my head that I visualize, which isn't very easy at all. So, yeah, so I basically visualize the four sections. And then I try and put my bobby pin within the middle of that section. And then, obviously, I press the F button. And there it goes. So, like I said, I will put some diagrams to explain my theory. Okay, so you'll have your four sections. And then I try and visualize those sections whilst looking at the lockpick. And again, I will put a document or a screenshot of this up um, on my Facebook page. So if you constantly want to look at this or save it, because you can save from Facebook, I think you can save it. Don't hold me to that. But, uh, you know, I don't like Facebook much. So, yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say. There's four sections. You've got to try and visualize those sections and then try and put your bobby pin within the middle of those sections because they're going to be your main starting points. And then go from there, okay? But, uh, okay, so with that said and done, so you've got your four sections, all right? So we're going to try it with this lock. So we've got our four sections. Now, another thing I try and do, all right? So say you go to a section, so the middle of a section, okay? And you press, you, you know, you, you hold F, 
and it doesn't do nothing. So it goes like that, okay? So you, you've got a timer, or so many tries with a bobby pin before the bobby pin breaks, right? So if I'm in the middle of the section, and I hold it, and it doesn't move anywhere, I only try and do it once. I know I've done it about four times there, but I'm trying to obviously explain. So once your bobby pin's there, if it doesn't move with a hold of the F, yeah, what you want to do is let go so the actual, you don't want to like keep hold of it and then just keep tapping it like that because you're just using every time that lock moves from its standard position. So every time that lock moves from the standard position like that, it's the more you do it, the more it's going to break. Yeah. Uh, let me break this bobby pin a minute. So you want to start with the two top sections, so I will number these sections, or have got them numbered in the diagram. So you've got like section 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are the orders you want to go in. So if section 1 doesn't work, work your way towards section 3. You know, if one work doesn't work and it goes like that. Oh, broke a bug pin. So it only goes a little bit. Work your way towards section 2. And if you're in section 2, if you want to start with section 2 and it don't work, then you know obviously you can't work section three but you kind of want to go in order really so you want to start with section one section two etc etc yeah that's the way i do it and try and remember where you were in the section as well to be honest it's all about remembering it's all about you know it's mem it's kind of a memory game the lock picks you know you gotta kind of remember where your bobby pin was to begin with and like how many times you've used that bobby pin like I said, it's hard to explain how the bobby pins work. I haven't, I haven't got no, you know, paperwork on the ratios or, you know, the percentage of where things are meant to be or where a bobby pin is to be. I've done this over, you know, how many times that I've used a lockpick in this game. I kind of start visualizing sections and trying to work out, like, if I start here, if that don't work, then... So again, that's like that. So I tried to move it towards three, maybe go a little bit more. That didn't work. So, okay, we'll move it down then. So there you go. So that was only three tries. But you don't want to move down. So I need another gate now. Okay, I'm going to be unlocking all the gates here. So when you're doing it, don't do a little bit at a time. All right, so don't go like, so say you're in the middle section there. That didn't work. So don't go a tiny bit. Not at the moment. You want to go quite a, you know, quite a substantial amount. Obviously not too much. And then, you know what I'm saying? Don't go little bit by little bit because, like I said, each time you move that bobby pin, you've got a chance of breaking it because there's only so many times you can put pressure on that bobby pin. Um, but, yeah, so I think I've tried to... Ex I know the explanation was a bit pants... But uh, I've explained, I think I've explained as much as I can about what I do to unlock these these locks. Like I said, there's probably a lot more guides out there. Well, I didn't never said that, but there is probably a lot more guides out there that are a bit more in-depth and have, you know, all the algorithms and all that sussed out. Uh, but I don't. I just go with the visualization of the four sectors. I go to one sector, and then I just... Move the bobby pin in increments, not not you know not not like little you know little bits. I don't literally go like that. That's that's a stupid way. You want to go, you know, literally like a clock dial. Yeah. So again, we do it with here. So we will go about halfway on section one. So this is nothing. And I'm going to move to section two again, about halfway. Okay, so that's better. So now I'm going to move it down. Okay, so move up. Alright, so now. Do you see what I mean? So it was in section 1, so I moved it to the middle of section 2. Yeah, it moved in section 2, so I moved it down towards section 3. But by a good margin. And then it didn't, you know, it was less play. So I moved it just past the middle of section two again by a margin and it was more play so yeah you know, not as much play but it was a bit more play so i just met in the middle of the big the middle and you know that section i just that's how i do it 
But like I said, I've got, like I said, I'm going to provide diagrams. I'm going to provide you know, diagrams and the actual visualization in picture form, so you can see that. Hey, I knew you, I knew you were going to stop Don't me. Try anything so yeah, it's all visualized there for you guys. Um, work your way off that. If you have any luck, let me know. If you don't, also right, let me know. Off you go. And I will carry on fiddling around and see if I can kind of work out exactly how these locks work, which is going to be an impossible task. But I will try and figure out another method. But that's the method I use all the time when it comes to lock picks. And, uh, but yeah, so, so that's the best way I can explain it. Um, I don't know what more I can say, really. You know, I'm not a fan of the lock picks in here, but, you know, I'm trying to also, like I said, I'm trying to explain from my head what I see. It's not as easy as, you know, doing like a recipe or something, because that's easy, because, you know, that's, you can do that. That's something visually, but unlocking a lockpick is not a visual thing. I can't, you know, it's not sectioned on the lockpick itself. So, yeah. So I hope I explained it as best I can. I know I did a bit of raffling, a bit of, you know, awkwardness talking there. But, but yeah. So I hope that I hope that sort of helps you guys. Like I said, I will probably do another lockpick one soon or eventually. If that didn't help you guys. And uh, yeah. So with that said and done. If you did like this shitty video. Because <laughs> this was the worst video I've ever done on Drug Dealer Simulator. Please like the video. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Or then again. I don't blame you if you don't. This is probably the worst Drug Dealer Simulator video I did. You know. But again. I'm trying to explain something that I visualized. So yeah. So with that said. I'm done. Thank you for watching. And uh, keep gaming. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, it's a beautiful sunset.